Hello everyone, this is episode 2 of getting started with the Helium Developer Kit. Today we will be sending data through the Helium network. First we will create a device in the Helium console. Then we will send some basic information over the Helium network. And then lastly we will display that information on Google Sheets. First you need to create a Helium console account. There are a lot of different console providers, but I suggest you use the foundation one since that is the cheapest. So just go to this link and then uh, create an account. After you've done that, go to Devices, click on the little plus icon and add a new device. Then name your device, I call that YouTube underscore test and then just save the device. Then it will uh, load, this can take up to 20 minutes, but just press the little name at uh, YouTube underscore test in my case and then you should be directed to this tab. Then press the little uh, arrows and the I with the dash across it. And then also do it again for the app key with the little arrows. And then uh, these are your keys which you need in the uh, Arduino IDE. Just keep this tab open and then la uh, later copy the keys. In the Arduino code uh, you will see the uh, dev, dev UI, app UI and app key. Just paste the keys in, uh, in here and then you should be all good to go. I will now quickly walk you through the code. Um, it's pretty simple and pretty bare bones, so I don't suggest you use this as an endnote, but it's pretty good for learning how to code in RUI3. So first we define the, define the uh, uplink delay. In my case, this is 300,000 milliseconds or five minutes. Uh, you can also change this uh, if you want. I changed it to 30 seconds in this example because I wanted to see data flowing. Then we select the region. If your region is different, you have to change this. I'm in EU6868, uh, so I can keep this. Then we have the console keys, which you previously copied. Then we prepare the payload integer. Then we start the serial line. Uh, then again, we configure the console keys. You don't need to touch this. Then we define the OTA band and then we set the class. You have ABC. Uh, you can only choose between A and B on the Helium network. Um, and class C is coming uh, in Q1 2023. Then lastly, we join the network and that should be it. Then if we want to send data, we use this function, the uplink routine. Uh, we prepare first an integer, which keeps track of the length of the payload. Uh, in this case, the length will be one. So here we have the payload and then we append uh, a decimal one to it, but we first convert that to a byte. So this one is converted into a byte. This is sent through the network and then it gets converted back from a byte into a decimal. And then the decimal point will be displayed in the Google Sheets integration. Then uh, we send a message sent over the serial port and then we actually send the payload over the network. Then in the void loop, we just call this function. And then we sleep for uh, yeah, a defined period of time. Then we start uploading the code. So just press this little button. This can take up to a minute, so please be patient. After you've done that, you should see a join request in your Helium console. Um, it should look something like this. If you don't see anything, uh, please look at the last few minutes of this video. I showed some common errors people make, so maybe your issue can be fixed through there. Um, if you can't fix the issue, uh, please le leave something in the comments and maybe uh, yeah, I can take a look at it, but no promises. After a few minutes, you should see some uplink data that depends on the delay you, that you set in the beginning of the code. So if you set 30 seconds, then every 30 seconds you should see some uplink data. Then we start visualizing the, uh, the data using Google Sheets. So first we go to integrations, press this little cloud icon. Then select Google Sheets, then add an integration. Then if you click here, you will find a tutorial on how to set it up. But the tutorial is a little bit outdated and the layout isn't uh, up, to, up to date yet. So I will just quickly run you through it. First, you make a Google Forms account and then you create a Google Forms. You give it a name, you give your first data point a name, and then you change the answer to a short answer text. After you've done that, you have to click on responses and then link to sheets and then either create a new spreadsheet or select an existing spreadsheet. Then click on send and then click on the little link icon, copy the link and then paste it, but remove the first uh, yeah, uh, URL and then also the, the second suffix 
and then you should be left with just uh, random strings of letters and uh, numbers so that's what I've done here then you have to click on get Google form fields and then this should pop up if everything you did is correct and then you have to generate function body with fields above and that will create your decoder after you've done that give it a name and then change this fill me in to bytes zero and then just add the integration after you've done that go back to the flows tabs click on nodes and then you should see your device here then just drag it into the flow and then connect the two dots from the decoder and then that should be all so now if you go back to your google sheets you should see the data popping up and that is the one that we sent in to the helium network then if you change this one to a two in the arduino code we should see the uplink data to uh, change uh, as you can see here then some common errors yeah the first one is the wrong frequency slash region in the last episode we discussed how you can find out about our right frequency and region so please just use the official helium website and not another website because they might report different frequencies second is wrong console keys uh, sometimes people swap app key and uh, dev ui or whatever so please make sure that you have the correct keys copied and that you haven't made a mistake third is too close to a hotspot if your hotspot is sitting on your desk and your sensor is also sitting on your desk it might not work so put a wall between it or move some meters away from the hotspot and then test again if it works then no coverage this is not really an issue with helium but if you're using ttn or some other LoRaWAN network this might be uh, a big deal so always check if you have coverage next is wrong firmware this code that i showed only worked for rey3 not for the bsp version so you either have to upgrade to rey3 or you have to use a bsp compatible uh, version then is wrong antenna yeah that kind of goes together with the wrong frequency if you got the wrong antenna yeah you, you might have uh, some issues and then lastly is setting the class as class c helium does not support class c only class a so make sure that you always uh, use class a or, or b but not class c so that is it for this episode if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below and in the next episode we will do a bit of a deeper dive into the code and explain line by line what everything means See you then.